שבוע טוב, בגוד תבוך. Tonight's story, tonight I'm going to tell story number 19 of the Shib Chayabal Shem Tov, the title of which is Bir Hapshat Bamishna. The explanation, the elucidation on the pshat, on the simple level of understanding of the learning of the Mishnah. This is a story that happened when the Balshemtov visited the city of Kribsht. Notes and explanations on this story in the link in the description to the blog that I have on my Patreon page. When the Balshemtov came to the city of Kribsht, there was a rov, rabbi, who was the head of the best din of the city. His name was the rov, the chassid, rav Abba. Later on, he became the rabbi and the head of the best din of the city of Sdelaban, and he was very famous, very well known in that place. So uh, this rav Abba had a guest, who's, who was his mechutn. I don't know that we have a word for that in English. His son or daughter was married to a son or daughter of this guest. They share uh, children married to each other. Okay. And they were sitting in the house, Rabbi Abba and his guest, and they were discussing a Mishnah that they were learning. And when the Baal Shem Tov came, they did not come out to greet him. So they stayed, they were discussing it, and the Baal Shem Tov came in and greet him, greet them. Hashem imachem, Hashem will be with you. Why? What are you busy with? What, what were you doing? So they show him a different mission, not where they were learning. The Baal Shem Tov answered to them, I know that you were not learning this Mishnah, but you were learning this one and brings the one that they were learning and shows them a very difficult question in that Mishnah that they were trying to, <laughs> to elucidate. He shows them the question and gives them a pshat, gives them the explanation according to the simple level of Torah understanding, and that's it. The Balshento left, took his horses, went on his way, he went about one parsa, about four miles from the place, and then he stopped and let the, uh, the horses graze in the place. So Rab Abba and his guest start asking one another, how, how will we learn this Mishnah? And they realize something. They took a wagon with horses and they went after the Balshamtov and found him at a certain distance on the field. From then on, Rav Abba became a chassid of the Balshemtov. At least he would go to the Balshemtov once a month and spend one Shabbat, one Shabbos by him. Once Rav Abba was by him, by the Balshemtov, Friday night, and as he was praying the Amidat, the Shmone Esre, in silence, when we learn in the Amidah, Shabbat and the days of the week, it begins the same way. And after the first um, section, it goes different. Shabbat and the, the weekdays is different. So he continued the way we do it during the weekdays. Atachonen. Which is a problem in Halacha when we pray the wrong, <laughs> the wrong prayer. When he came to the house of Baal Shem Tov, the Baal Shem Tov told him, beautiful Kribushta Rav, beautiful Rav of Kribushta. You pray Atachonen. Atachonen literally means that you embrace the comprehension of man and you teach human being understanding. The story finishes there and notes on this story as well as my explanations I will put in the link in the description in my Patreon. I am on the process of translating these stories so I appreciate donations toward the publication of the stories in Spanish, as this never been published, the Shev Hebel Shantov in Spanish. I'm wishing right now everyone who hears this week a Gmar Chasima Toiva. May you be sealed in the already inscribed book of life for good.
and for a happy good new year. Shavua Tov, a good Tevoch.